Right here we're going to work out the uh, number of bricks required for this gable end. So we're just going to start a head and gable end. Now, again we have the same principles as everything we've been doing before, but we can see here that we have a nice rectangle with a triangle on top. So what we are going to do is call this area A and area B. So area A is going to be very very simple. The formula is what we did in the very first videos and that is going to be the length times the height. So the length we have is 8 multiplied by the height which is 6. Don't need a calculator for that. That is 48 meters squared. Underlined. So uh, that one was easy to sort out. Now this one, the formula we have isn't the same as this. Although we're looking for a surface area, we are looking for a different formula to that. Now that is either we're going to have, if we can see this, half the height multiplied by the length or half the length multiplied by the height doesn't matter which way um, you half that, but one of the dimensions you're going to have to half. Now, again, if we halved the height of this, uh, you can see here we've got 3 metres, so by going halfway through, just put an imaginary line through there. I'm just showing you, trying to emphasise what we're actually doing. Uh, by halving this to 1.5 meters which is half a three if we see that there yeah what we're in effect doing is we're taking this and spinning it over into there so this part then fills in this part and then this bit fills in that part so you can see by halving it we've now made ourselves a long rectangle which is one and a half meters high by eight meters long so the formula we have there, uh, we've gone on here half the height. So we are 1.5 multiplied by the length, which is 8. Okay, shouldn't need a calculator for this, but I will do it for, um, again, there's the last figure in that one still. Get rid of that. So we're looking at 1.5 multiplied by 8 equals 12. So we have area A equals 48 meters squared and area B equals 12 meters squared add them both together and we will have 60 meters squared so if we just go 60 meters multiplied by stretcher bond we said at the start so we're going to be multiplying that by 60 for 60 bricks per meter squared. So we've got 60 times 60. I think before I even get there, that's going to be 300. Sorry, 3,600. There we go. 3,600 bricks. Let's go for um, percentage on there as well. Let's uh, say that we're going to go for. Um, um, We'll say 9%, I know it's a bit of an unusual percentage, but um, I just want us to uh, utilise that uh, formula that we looked at last time. So if we're going to say wastage at 9%, we're going to have our 3,600 multiplied by 1.09. If you remember how we did that. So our total for all of this is going to be 3600 multiplied by 1.09 because that's our percentage equals 3925 bricks for that gable end. Okay.